to Disney Princess Mum and Wife. If you're new here, my name's Sarah and my channel is about everything Disney and um, family and everything in between. Welcome. Um, so today's video um, is going to be a Disney video um, and um, we're going to, uh, I thought I would do my top 10 things to do in Disneyland Paris. Uh, now this is really difficult to choose because there is more than 10 things um, to do so I might do some videos um, other than this um, and go into a bit more a bit more detail in some uh, other videos but if you've been to Disneyland Paris before and you've stayed in a Disney hotel you'll know um, you'll know Sophie lovely lovely Sophie she's on repeat on the um, on the Disney on the TV in the Disney hotel room um, and she gives you her top 10 things to do while in Disneyland Paris so I thought I would do my top 10 things um, to do in Disneyland Paris so um, so yes yeah, so here are my top 10 things to do in Disneyland Paris number 10 I'm gonna go down so number 10 um, these are in no, no particular order because in, they're just my favorite things so um, some, some of my favorite things to do um, but I thought I would go down like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, like she does in the video. Uh, anyway, so yeah, here are my top 10 things to do in Disneyland Paris. Um, so number 10 is uh, walk down Main Street and take in all the sights, sounds and smells um, of Main Street um, and maybe get in a little shopping while, while we're there. Um, but yeah, so my one of my favourite things to do is to walk down Main Street um, and just because as soon as you get through those park gates, you enter the turnstiles, you go through the little walkway where all the maps are and everything like that and you come out onto Main Street and it just hits you, the Disney magic just hits you and you come out and there's the little bandstand right in front of you um, and it's just like this beautiful scenery of just this 1900s you, you feel like you've been transported to the 1900s and you just walk down and you just hear all the all the old-fashioned music and the smell coming from from all the sweet shops and all the bakeries and and everything it just i tell you what the smell reminds me of um if you know the carex bubblegum hand gel i don't think i've got one around here, no. Um, but yeah, the Carex bubblegum ham gel it reminds me of the smell of down Main Street. So go get you a bubblegum ham gel and smell that and see if you agree with me. Um, but yeah, I just love walking down down Main Street and and just taking in all the sights, all the sounds, all the smells, and it's just magic. It's a perfect way to start your Disney day. Um, and just walking down and just you know taking in all the little details like just taking your taking your time and down all, all the you know and just spotting all the little details it's very photo you know you can get loads of photographs and all the little details and and it's it's really good photo opportunity if you can find those little little spots um, and also going off on uh, on that kind of um, number 10 thing and going down Main Street is when you arrive at Disney, when I arrive at Disney and I, and I first enter the park and I'm on, I'm on to Main Street and the first view of the beautiful castle, my favourite Disney castle, it's the first view of that beautiful castle, that is my that is one of my main favourite things on my first day of Disney is to get in and just go down the middle of Main Street and just spot the castle and it's huge it like it it looks bigger in in person so like if you see it on the TV or anywhere it doesn't look as big but when you get there it's just so huge and it's just so gorgeous and yeah I just love that first look at the castle when you arrive at Disney um, and um, that is another one of my favourite things is to just stare at the castle and um, and and go in the castle and go in the shops in the castle um, and um, you've got the Christmas shop in the castle 
uh, and you know just explore the castle it is it is absolutely beautiful and it's one of my top things to do in Disneyland Paris uh, it is such a beautiful castle um, and so number nine um, would be going on from the castle thing uh, would be to actually come out of the castle if I've already gone in or or before I go into the castle I would walk down Main Street and then as you get to Central Plaza just before um, just before you get to the castle you take a right uh, sorry a left um, and there's like a little cave thing so you've, you've got the left of the castle here and then here you've got like a little cave thing and you go through there and you go see um, Merlin's dragon um, and I just love going in there it's quite dark so it might be scary for uh, little ones so um, but uh, but it is so magical and you go underneath the castle into this cave and, and there lies Merlin's dragon um, and you can just watch him come awake and he roars and he um, uh, and you know he moves his head and everything I love you um, and he moves his head and everything um, and it's just a really nice little Disney thing to, to watch um, and and yeah it's, it's yeah it's just nice to do so that's that's one of my other favorite things a must do for me to go when I go to Disney um, the uh, number where well, my number eight um, would be um, to go do the princess lunch um, at Auberge de Cedrillon is that how you say it? ADC Auberge de Cedrillon um, I always book um, a princess lunch uh, the food is absolutely amazing I always spend two hours um, in in there at least two hours in there so if you do plan on um, um, doing a princess lunch then I would recommend at least two hours because you've got um, you go in it's absolutely beautiful it's like Cinderella's house and you go in and it's so so nice and just so breathtaking and beautiful and uh, you've got four princesses four princesses are in ADC at a time as well as um, Cinderella's um, Cinderella's mice um, and uh, and it's just amazing the food is to die for it is just amazing I always go for it's a three course meal and I always go for uh, for my main is the um, turbot in uh, in champagne sauce and risotto that is just I so recommend I'm that dish um, I, I, yeah I just um, I recommend that so much it is so so delicious um, so that's my favourite uh, meal to have there and the and the character interaction is beautiful they they spend so much time with you but they go from table to table and they just spend so much time with you they'll sign your autograph they'll talk to you they'll have photos with you um, and it is just it's an amazing experience and you're not guaranteed one one princess so you don't know who's in there until you get there so um, my advice would be if you are wanting to see one particular princess would be to go to the uh, princess pavilion um, and meet the princess there but if you're not bothered what princess you meet and you just want to meet princesses then I'd say the, the best thing to do would be to book yourself um, a, a princess lunch and instead of waiting two hours in a queue to meet one princess you get to meet four princesses plus Cinderella's mice and Cinderella is always there because it's her it's her house so you'll be guaranteed to meet Cinderella um, I think in April when I took the boys in April we saw uh, they're in my vlog April vlogs we saw Cinderella um, Rapunzel Ariel and Tiana um, they were the four out when I went with um, with Kerry in October when we went for my birthday trip we saw Cinderella 
um, Belle, that was just amazing. I loved meeting Belle because she's my favourite princess. Um, Aurora, sleep, Sleeping Beauty, excuse me, sorry. Um, and but who was it? Belle, Aurora, Cinderella. Oh my goodness, who else was it? <laughs> um, there's one more, I'm missing one more. Uh, oh my gosh. Who was the other one? Um, Cinderella, Belle, Aurora. Do you know, for the life of me, I can't remember. I'll insert it in here because um, it's in my it's in my latest Disney Disney box. But yeah, we got to see four princesses. Um, oh, it was Ariel. Yes, sorry, it was Ariel. We met Ariel, Aurora, Belle, and Cinderella. Um, and obviously Cinderella's uh, mice as well. Um, so yeah, that's another favourite thing that I have to do on my Disneyland trip is go and have a princess lunch and just take in the surroundings, take in all the meat and greets and it's just an amazing, you're not old, it's an amazing um, experience so um, definitely if you can um, book one of those into your trip you will not be disappointed. Um, so what number am I on now? Oh yes, yeah, going on, so I'll follow on from that, number seven is meeting the characters. Now I absolutely love this, uh, it's, just, it's just so Disney, you know, for me, um, just meeting the characters and seeing, seeing the characters um, and you know just having a laugh with them and just interacting with them, it's one of my favourite things to do, uh, there's, there's ways you can see the characters, you can have a character meal, um, and you can meet the characters like that or you can queue up for the characters um, the way I see the characters um, is because I'm uh, disabled I get um, a priority green card um, so the way that works is instead of having to queue in the long queue because I can't stand for very long um, so you go um, to the disabled bit um, and they'll give you a time slot and you come back at that time slot and then you can go before anyone else goes um, which I think is it's a brilliant help so if you are um, entitled to a green um, pass um, then that is what you do to meet the characters you just go up to um, the, the rope bit that has the uh, wheelchair sign on it and then if there's any time slots left they will give you the next time slot available and you go off, you do whatever you want to do and then you come back at that time slot and then you can meet the characters. And you can't always get a time slot if they've if they've ran out because it's first come first serve basis. So as soon as um, as soon as the characters have come out I would recommend um, going to the character that you need to go to um, and um, then uh, I think it's about 10 o'clock go get your slot um, because they do go really really fast um, so yeah but that is the way or you can just queue up normally if you can manage that but um, for, for ease for ease then I would recommend doing that getting your time slot and then coming back um, for anyone else you just queue up and you wait um, and it's and the whole interaction with the characters is fun they have a lot of fun with you um, most of them have got photo pass um, photographers so you get some really good photo pass um, photos on them um, and there's also if you're staying in a Disney hotel you get a character meet and greet every morning in your hotel as well so that's a good way of ticking off your characters and if you do get a character meal like from Cafe Mickey or at Plaza Gardens uh, for the breakfast or uh, if you do an inventions buffet they are all character meals so that's a good way of meeting lots of characters all at once so yeah, you can tick all the characters off that you want to um, you want to meet and then you're free the rest of the day to do whatever else you want to do so there's a number of ways to meet um, to meet the characters um, but yeah uh, I just love meeting the characters I don't care I'm 30 years old and I just love it it's just so magical and you know and it doesn't matter that you're an adult and you're having fun nobody cares nobody cares how old you are you know, Disney is for everyone. 
So, you know, that is one of my favourite things to do, is just to have a character meet and meet all the different characters. And I make a list in the morning of which characters I want to go see that day, and I make sure I tick them off if I can. So, yeah, so that's, um, that's another favourite thing. Um, number six, yep, six, um, is going on Pirates of the Caribbean ride, um, and then follow that by a dinner at Captain Jack's. Uh, if you've not been um, been to Disney before, um, then Captain Jack's is uh, inside the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Um, so and it is so atmospheric. Um, and you can actually see the ride going past or if you're on the ride you can see the restaurant as you go go through the ride and i just i just love that i just i just love the whole atmosphere of it it is very dark so be prepared to be eating in in very low late low light um and practically darkness um but it's just so atmospheric and it, and i just i love it i love to watch um the boats come past when i'm in the restaurant i love when I'm on the ride I love going past the restaurant and you know it's just so atmospheric it's one of my favourite things to do Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my favourite rides and I also like to time that with um, a, dis a, dis a dinner reservation um, a dinner re reservation I also like to time that with a dinner reservation um, to have after I have been um, after I've been on the ride. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, I go on it uh, numerous times throughout the day, um, but uh, but I all, when we have a reservation at Captain Jack's on that day, I always a time going on the ride just before we go, um, go for dinner there, because it's nice to come off the ride, come out, go around the corner, and in you go into the restaurant, and you have the restaurant, and it's just it just finishes the day off nicely. We usually do our dinner reservations for around six o'clock, so we tend to go on the ride about about five, quarter past five, by the time we're on there, gone through the ride, it's time to come off and go wait for your dinner reservation. So it just finishes the day off nicely. Um, yeah, and the food in Captain Jack's is absolutely amazing. Um, I definitely re recommend um, recommend the food there because it's really really nice. So number five, um, coming out of the park for a minute. Um, number five would be walking around Disney Village. Um, so that's another thing. So I like to come out the back of the hotel, walk around Disney Lake, and walk to the parks. Up through the village and the atmosphere in the village is just it gets you in the Disney mood it's just like there's so many shops there's just, there's um there's bars and restaurants and where you've got Rainforest Cafe you've got uh, Planet Hollywood all that sort of thing you've got Panama Panama <laughs> Panama Magic I can never say that so I hope I've said it right um so which we haven't rode on yet we always say every time we go we're going to do it but we haven't um so yeah that's um I, I just like walking through the village taking in the atmosphere of the village popping into a few shops doing a bit of shopping because i just love doing disney shopping um every time i come home from disney i've bought i put another suitcase to fit all my merchandise in so i'm i'm constantly shopping so i love to pop into the village pop into shops um, World of Disney is amazing, I could spend all day in that shop, um, yeah, so it's just nice just to take in the atmosphere and, and walk around and you know you've got your restaurants in there, the steak restaurant, you've even got McDonald's and that McDonald's is huge, um, so yeah that's, that's uh, number, number five, um, so that's one of my favourite things to do is walk around the Disney Lake um, and also when you've come back from the parks in the evening and it's a different atmosphere in the dark as well it's just it's just so amazing and in the different seasons you've got different kiosks as well um, and you can get crepes and things it, it's just so magical so so magical it just starts your Disney adventure or ends your Disney adventure for the day it is great um, so 
going on that kind of thing my fourth number four would be to sit in uh, my hotel bar or at dinner and have a glow teeny I absolutely love glow teenies now they're a bit on the pricey side I think they're about 18 euros is it 18 euros yeah 18 euros I think um, but it's so worth the money I've I've had the red glow teeny the blue glow teeny and the green glow teeny when I've been there and I just love it I love the flashing ice cube and the fact that you get to take the little flashing ice cubes home is, is a good thing but yeah when you come back from the park after a long day and you've got tired legs and you just you just want to relax before you go back to your hotel room and you just go into the bar for a drink and you just sit and you relax and take in the atmosphere and talk about your day and what you've done and what your favourite things are and you just sit back and relax with a nice cold glow teeny. I just I love glow teenies. It's just one Disney tradition that I have to do every time um, I go. So they are a bit on the pricey side but I definitely recommend them. Um, so where are we at? Uh, so number three is obviously riding the rides. Now it is difficult to pick which rides are my top rides and I will do a separate video on my top rides in Disneyland Paris but of course you can't go to Disney without riding on any rides um, and I think for my top uh, my top rides would be um, Big Thunder Mountain absolutely love that ride that's in Frontierland in the Disneyland Park uh, Pirates of the Caribbean in Adventure land um a piece of pan's flight there's just so many that i love going on um too, too many to mention I, I like them all you know i love them all but yeah they're in the disneyland park that would be my um my top top ones big thunder mountain um pirates of the caribbean and um what else Oh, Buzz Lightyear's Laser Blast. I like that one. I'm very competitive with the others on that one. We always try and beat each other's score and, our, and try and beat our high score. So yeah, so rides of course would be my would be in my top 10 things to do. Go on the rides. And my favourite rides is that. I will go into more detail on my, on my top favourite rides in another video because otherwise this video will be so, so long. Um, so number two is watching the shows. So you, so um, if you go in a particular season, so Halloween, Christmas, um, you know they they put um, they put special shows on um, and parades. Um, and I like I like to watch all the different shows. Like when I went at Halloween, it was Halloween uh, Mickey's Halloween party. I think I think that's what it was called. Um, so when we went in April it was the Marvel show um, and, and all that so the different seasons have different shows and um, then generally for parades um, I just love watching uh, Disney stars on parade that's, uh, that's in the afternoon usually around five o'clock depending on um, park opening hours um, and it, I just love um, I just love taking in the Disney magic and watching Disney Stars on Parade and all the special uh, shows that they put on throughout the seasons. Um, it's just so magical, it immerses you into the magic. And also in the studios, um, one of my favourite shows in the studios is um, Mickey and the Magician. Uh, that is just an amazing show, an amazing show, it makes me cry. It really does. So I definitely recommend going to see that in the studio. Um, and also the stunt show in the studio is really good as well. Um, that would that would recommend doing that. And my favourite ride in the studio, talking about the studios, has to be as much as I complain about it every time, has to be Tower of Terror. Um, it is good fun. It is a, it's an adrenaline rush, and it is good fun. I do get a bit wimpy and scared just before I go on it and the thought of going on it but once I've actually done it I'm like oh my god that was amazing 
you know and I just love seeing the photos after seeing my space so yeah that has to be um, one of my favourite rides in the studios um, so yeah so um, and number one of course would be to watch Disney Illuminations so that is the fireworks at, uh, at night time at park closing um, and oh my god it is just so 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 magical I just love it it makes me cry I I watched it on my birthday trip um, in October when I went uh, with my friend Kerry and I was just blubbering mess all the way through it was just so spectacular and I mean we got a really good view we were right at the front because we were in the disabled area so we got an amazing view and it was just so 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 spectacular the fireworks the the projections it just takes you into a different world and it is just so 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 magical and I just love it um, so that is definitely always on my to-do list every time um, I do uh, a Disney trip I don't go see it every evening um, because sometimes you just can't be bothered to stay up and you know and if you've had a busy day 12 hour day in the park sometimes you can't you're just too tired to stay staying for it um but yeah but it's definitely at least once during the disney trip and it is just amazing it is worth staying up for if you're going if you're going at a time where the park is open till 10 11 o'clock at night then i recommend you go watch it even if you go back to your hotel for an hour and have a rest and then come back into the park um then yeah definitely go watch it because it is so so spectacular and i just love to watch it makes me cry happy to for but you are truly in Disney when you watch when you watch um, Disney Illuminations. Um, and of course, that was number one. But I will just put um, I will just put one more on there, of course, because I can't leave this one out. Is obviously doing my Disney shopping, and I just love going around all the all the shops in the parks and just having a nosy around the shops and just just picking up things and Disneyland Paris exclusive things and just doing a lot of shopping I that's another favorite thing for me to do so that comes to an end of my top 10 things to do in Disneyland Paris um, there is a lot more I love to do and it was so so difficult to choose um, what what to put in this video because there is way more it's probably like top 40 things or something or top 100 things but yeah so I narrowed it down to my top 10 favourite things to do I might do another video with another top 10 favourite things I'll also do uh, my top uh, favourite rides uh, to ride in Disneyland Paris my favourite character meets and my favourite restaurant I'll probably do that and go into more detail on uh, those sorts of things uh, if you want to tell me what uh, your top things to do in uh, Disneyland Paris are, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Um, and, and if you agree with me or, or not on what my favourite things to do, or I'd love to hear, like I say, your favourite things to do, so pop those down in the comments below, I'd love to know. Um, and yeah so that is about it i think um don't forget about my uh, 100 subscriber video if you want to go enter that once i've hit um hit 100 subscribers you can win a 60 pound shop disney bundle i will link uh, the video down below so you can go and follow instructions on that to be entered into that if you if you would like to be in with a chance to win the shop disney bundle so don't forget about that as soon as uh, i've hit uh, 100 subscribers i will be drawing that and one lucky winner will win the bundle in that video uh yeah so um so yeah that comes to an end this video i think uh so if you uh if you liked this video and want to see more Disney content and everything in between then uh, don't forget to like this uh, video don't forget to subscribe 
and hit that bell button for notifications and I will see you in my next one. Stay safe everyone and I hope you're all well and um, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.